In this session we're going to talk about the SQL task and how to use it. We have prepared three jobs for this. The first two jobs has two tasks each. One that reads a file and the other one is a SQL task that uses the content from the task one, the read file task and inserts into a database. The difference between these two test jobs is that the first one is using normal SQL text while the second one is using a store procedure. The third job is using uh, the database, the SQL task to, to read the content and then write the content to the file. So we can verify what we just inserted. So first I'm going to show the table structure. I'll make sure then that this one is empty and if we look at the test table, it has uh, uh, it has two columns, and the first one is test column one, which is a normal var var character uh, with 50 character spacing, and the second one is test column two, which is a daytime column. Also, we have uh, some uh, store procedures and. We have one store procedures, and if, if we look at it, it's just inserting a, a row into the database, and we'll call it insert row. So, I'll guide you to the first uh, job, and as you can see, we have these two tasks. The first one reads a file. This is the file here, table input.txt, and if we look at this, it just has some sample content column content it says and it reads that file as we'll see here here's the path to that file and when the, uh, the file has been read uh, the actual content is written to the output of the first task the second task is the SQL task which is using normal uh, SQL SQL t text and I'm using this simple query to insert into test column 1 and test column 2 and as you can see here I've, I've picked the variable from the previous task output and you can find this when browsing through the variables here go through the active job tasks and uh, we want to access this one um, pre previous task and as you can see the, 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 because we have run this before the content is filled here so I just copy this one and I can paste it this in here also I've added a prefix uh, which is ST that stands for SQL text so we can differentiate it from the, the second job for the date uh, uh, column we have uh, just added a date format uh, variable and you can find this as well here and you can use any any format you like and in our case we have added the seconds to to, to the variable so if we run this uh, also uh, we have this uh, when you create the SQL task you specify a connection and we can look at this uh, and then this is the connection that is called gladiator test and that is one of our test databases and, and if we open this we um, the connection wizard is open and we can see all the settings that are used for this and if you use you use you can use the guide to create your own connection and once you connect uh, created a connection it is global and you can reuse it in uh, all your tasks and you will see that in the second job uh, the second uh, task there we will use the same kind of connection here and you can when you create a connection you can press test connection to see if the connection works so we'll try to run this one and uh, So it ran pretty fast, and uh, we can look at the, the current uh, content here right now. So right now we have one row with the ST prefix and the current date.
we can try running it again and we'll have a, a second row here with another date so we can look at the, the second job uh, which as you can see does the same thing here it reads the same kind of file but the difference uh, is in the that it uses the store procedure you select the store procedure tab and uh, if you press get here it will return all store procedures from that database and currently we only have one store procedure which is uh, insert row and we have already added the columns here uh, we use another prefix sp as in store procedures to differentiate it from the first job and uh, we use the same kind of output points to the previous task same date formats here for the date time column so if we run this one here and uh, we'll see that we have the sp column with a new date so that's the second way to uh, insert and execute the store procedure also in the, in the, in the third job we have we are reading the database content and then writing it to the file and if we look at this uh, where we have used a simple SQL text query here which uh, takes a table content and just for fun we are arranging it in a different order so we get the, the last inserted uh, rows first and then we'll see that uh, in the actual file we'll see that the, the SP prefixes first because we run it last and as I told you before you can use reuse the same kind of connection here so in the in the second task we have re, uh, we are writing the output from the previous task which the previous task is the SQL task so the output of the task will be written to to this file table output.txt and one interesting thing about the output is that uh, you can, when you use a SQL test, you can control the output. You can add field separators, text qualifiers, and select and the, the type of line break that you want. But uh, in this case, we just want the normal, these normal settings. Uh, we can include the, the file names just for fun. And we'll use a tab to separate each uh, column and we'll use a new line to separate each line. So if we run this one, it ran pretty fast and we can see here in the output as well, if you double click on it, this is the output that we have. This output should be written to, to the file that we have specified. So if we open this directory, we'll see that a new file has been created, which is table output. We can open this one and we'll see the, the, the output from the, from the SQL task so this is these are some examples of how to use the SQL tasks and to read and write from the database and also how to use variables to to access uh, previous task and output so you can push the values to another task thank you for watching this